Uh, now, I do believe it is time to have a look at the papers. It certainly is, and for a full roundup, we're joined by Phil Hall, former editor of the News of the World. Morning, Phil. Good morning. But first, we'll take you through the headlines. The Independent um, <coughs> claims an exclusive this morning that um, Gary Lineker and Alan Hansen may have been the reason why the BBC lost the uh, rights to cover the FA Cup because of critical comments about England's performance. Have we gone all green? Well, I'm not sure. Is that it? just in our monitors? This is, in I our studio, we've gone green, but I, I'm sorry if we've gone green at home <laughs> as well. I think we have. <laughs> I think we have. We have. So I'm very sorry. Do bear with... It's, you know what? It's a Doctor Who quiz. That's what's done it for it's us. the Slitheens, the Jadoons. <laughs> Well, they've invaded the studio. There's, look, there's not much point in showing you his front page, really. But anyway, we'll tell you what's in it. It's the Daily Telegraph, and Gordon Brown warned that he would cause the death of the final salary pension scheme uh, with his budget a few years ago. We've got it in our news uh, this morning. The Treasury says the story is nonsense. Can you still see me at the back? This is uh, The Guardian. Uh, the former head of the prison service has warned that up to 100,000 people could be in jail by the end of the decade unless drastic and immediate action is taken. It's because the camera the personnel mm. are wearing night vision goggles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yes. it is. Uh, the, uh, the mirror says that uh, the family of the Iran hostage Nathan Summers urging him to stay strong as he appeared on television in Iran yesterday. Are we We're back? back. We're back. Hooray. Well done. Marvellous. Yes, that green didn't really go with my dress this morning. <laughs> Daily Express says says um, health chiefs have launched an urgent probe after a killer bug. A new bug has been linked to the deaths of 17 patients. Right, in glorious Technicolor, Phil joins us. And you want to uh, have a look at um, the front page of the Daily Mail. Remarkable 